This video is the keynote presentation by GDB alumna Katherine Markson Simonson with her guide dog Nabisco at GDB's festive holiday luncheon 2016. Please join me in welcoming Katherine Markson Simonson and her amazing dog Nabisco to the stage. Thank you to Guide Dogs for the Blind for asking me to speak today. I am truly honored to share my story with you. Nabisco is my first guide dog, and we graduated almost exactly a year ago from the boring campus at Guide Dogs for the Blind. He amazes me every single day with how smart he is, and how well he can generalize his training and take initiative. I remember one of the first outings Nabisco and I went on after I received him. My husband and I were leaving Timberline Lodge up in Mount Hood, and it was snowing so hard, and Nabisco guided us straight to our car, which was in the farthest parking lot. I didn't know how he did it. Nabisco is a fantastic guide dog, a super dog, but when his harness comes off, he loves to run, play tug, and roll around on his back making grunting noises. <laughs> I live in Portland, Oregon with my husband, our three Labradors, our little black kitty, a betta fish, and my horse. So you can say we have quite the busy household. I was born premature at 25 weeks gestation, weighing one pound, six ounces. I was 12 inches long, and my head was the exact size of a tennis ball. I could wear my dad's wedding ring as a bracelet. Because of my prematurity, I developed retinopathy of prematurity, and I had a retinal detachment in my right eye. So I've had lifelong vision challenges, but I never let that stop me, as my parents can attest to me rolling, rollerblading down the steepest driveways or running around the house with my better seeing eye patched keeping up with my older brothers. I have always been incredibly independent with a me-do-it attitude. I was first introduced to Guide Dogs for the Blind in 2003, but not with the prospect of getting a guide dog. I wanted to raise a puppy. Ever since my first puppy came off of the puppy truck, even though he was quite the challenge, I was hooked and Guide Dogs for the Blind has been a part of my life ever since. I raised five puppies for Guide Dogs for the Blind, three of which became working guides. I absolutely loved my puppy raising experience for all of the dog handling and training that I learned and the ability to network with all of the amazing volunteers and supporters of Guide Dogs for the Blind. I know the dedication and commitment it takes to raise these dogs to become wonderful guides. And I know how hard it is to give them back for formal training. I remember standing on the stage at my first graduation at the Boring Campus, and I handed the leash off to my puppy Minnie's blind partner. And I felt a piece of my heart go with her, as this was a puppy who had been an integral part of my transition to a new high school my junior year. But I also felt so much excitement, joy, and pride for her new life as a guide dog. 
years later, when I stood on that same stage and accepted Nabisco's leash from his razor, Cindy, I knew the excitement mixed with the sadness that she was feeling. That experience for me has been probably one of the most magical experiences to be on both sides of the leash, to give and then to receive. Through raising Nabisco, Cindy and her family have given me freedom, safety, and love, and I cannot thank them enough. I have been given many amazing opportunities throughout my life, and I attribute this to my life motto of if you don't ask, you will never know. I reached out to Dr. Temple Grandin, a renowned animal science professor at Colorado State University, and asked if I could be her teaching assistant, and she said yes. I then again reached out to Minnesota Children's Hospital, the very center where I spent my first six months in the neonatal intensive care unit and asked if I could complete an occupational therapy internship, and they said yes. I was not introduced to the use of a white cane until I was 24 years old in my second year of graduate school. I was always very reluctant to use the tools available to me, but it was through this training and skills I learned with an orientation and mobility specialist that I learned how beneficial using a cane was, but it also came with its own frustrations and limitations. I walk fast and my cane would frequently get stuck on the sidewalk cracks. <laughs> As many blind people can attest to. And it would be to the point of impaling myself and bruising. <laughs> Needless to say, cane travel is stressful. With my experience with guide dogs for the blind, I wanted more than anything in the whole entire world to work a guide dog, but I didn't think I qualified. But I had enough with the bruises and the frustration, and so I applied and I got accepted. It's a common misconception that you have to be totally blind to receive a guide dog. Nabisco has changed my life. I can walk so much faster and more confidently than I could before. And the best part is that travel is now relaxing. I can just close my eyes and we fly. I am so thankful to Guide Dogs for the Blind for evaluating my whole life when deciding to accept me for training. Nabisco accompanies me to my work as an occupational therapist for Portland Public Schools. And we navigate the four schools I serve through public transportation. And he amazes me with his ability to change his walking speed, depending on if I'm walking alone or with a kindergartner. This incredible dog took two sessions to learn to target a garbage can, and now he'll find them for me on request, and even sometimes when I don't need them. <laughs> he wants to please. There was one time recently when we were walking down the street and a car started backing out of their driveway I didn't see them, and they didn't see us. But Nabisco did. 
And he stopped, waited patiently for the car to pass, and then continued on like nothing had happened. And ever since then, I stop and pause and wonder, what would have happened if I didn't have Nabisco? As an occupational therapist, I work with individuals to help them develop or regain skills that they may have lost due to illness or injury. I work with individuals to increase their independence. This is no different than what I did as a puppy raiser or what Guide Dogs for the Blind does every single day when they match these wonderful guide dogs with their blind partners. And this is no different than what each and every one of you do as supporters of Guide Dogs for the Blind. You are changing lives and increasing independence through your volunteer hours, sweat and tears, time and financial contributions now and in the future. I am so thankful to each and every one of you for giving me the independence to travel with Nabisco. My soulmate, mind reader, and companion. My super dog. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much.